Good day everyone! I am Josel Orola Villanueva taking up Bachelor of Secondary Education Major in Science, Section 3B in Capi State University Main Campus. Today, I will be showing to you my micro-teaching demonstration in Science 9. In my demonstration, I will be using grass skirt of terms as my teaching strategy. So this will be my lesson plan. So let's start. Good morning class. How are you today? Are you fine? Are you nervous? But I think I see beautiful and handsome faces here. You are now ready for our class for today. Okay, so Mr. Valguna, please lead our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. O oh Lord God, we thank you for granting us this beautiful day full of surprises as well as valuable learnings. We ask you, O oh Lord, to enlighten our hearts and mind in every decision that we make, that we still continue spreading love, compassion, and positivity among our fellow mankind, regardless of who we are, not hatred, resentment, and bitterness. Bless our teachers who always guide us and be on our side always make them the best example to us in terms of values life perspective and especially in spiritual aspect we may not we may not be perfect as your son and daughter but we do believe that there is still innate goodness within us that no matter what love will always prevail and forgiveness will be the conclusion of the long essay of life in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen okay thank you so much you may now fix yourselves and Read and be ready for our class discussion okay so but before that i will just give this quotation to you forgive those who insult you attack you belittle you or take you for granted but more than this forgive yourself for allowing them to hurt you yes it is a very beautiful quotation because its central message is forgiveness we need to forgive others regardless of how big or small the mistakes that a person committed against us. Because at the end of the day, we are all just human beings. And we are we will be departing in this world sooner or later. But what we will live in this world is just only memories as well as good deeds. So... We will forgive, we will forgive each other so that we could have a harmonious relationship among our fellow mankind. But remember that forgiveness doesn't mean, doesn't mean forget. You can forgive each other, but you cannot forget what they have did to us. Okay, so let's move to checking of attendance. May I request our secretary to please check the attendance and check who are the absent and who are the present okay so as a sort of reminder may i re may i remind you that we need to always wear our face mask whenever we go when we go outside of our home we need to wear our face mask as well as wash our hands frequently and when you are in a gathering or when you are in a group of people you need to have a social distancing to avoid the spreading of virus okay class we will just have a sort of review of our previous lesson so is there somebody from the class who can recall of what was our lesson last meeting yes shella okay very good so our lesson last meeting is all about the second law of motion so what is the second law of motion yes genre very good so law of acceleration so what this law states about yes marianne okay very good so the law states that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied very good so we have formula that is used for acceleration so what is this formula anyone who can give what is this formula okay yes um yes shenley 
Okay, very good. So the formula that is used for the acceleration is F net is equals to M times A, where F is the force, M is the mass, and A is the acceleration. So unbalanced forces cause stationary objects to move. So, according to law of acceleration, what will happen to the acceleration of an object when greater force is applied? Yes, Mr. Isiderio. Okay, very good. So, the acceleration will become greater. How about when an object is heavier? What will happen to its acceleration? Yes, um, dialing. Okay, very good. So, the acceleration will become smaller. Acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force applied and inversely proportional to its mass. Okay, so I think you are now ready for the next topic. So, let's move on to our next topic. But before that, before we proceed with our discussion for today, let us first play the spelling bat. Are you familiar with it? Okay, so it is actually spelling B, but I make it more interactive and everyone can participate. So I put a twist on it. So class, I have here two pieces of paper and each of these paper contain a word. Okay, later I will choose two representatives from the class who will be the ones to execute or spell the word using their bot. Okay. And the rest of the class will be the one to determine the word. Okay? So whoever the first one to determine the word will be declared as our winner. And I will give them a, or him or her a prize later. Okay? So I will choose, I think I will choose Shenley as well as um, Nika to be our representatives. Okay? So I will send this word to your messenger okay so are you now ready so i will give you a maximum of five minutes to execute this or to finish this task okay very good so our winner for today is shalame halaghai okay congratulations and you will receive your prize later okay so our topic for today is all about momentum okay Okay, so class, here are our objectives of the lesson. So, objective number one, please read Gino. Okay, very good. So, objective number two, please read um, Daileen. Okay, very good. And for the last objective, please read Jen Ryan. Okay, thank you so much. Class, what comes to your mind when you hear the word momentum? Yes, Julianne. Okay, very good. So, it is a measure of how difficult to stop a moving object. Any other answer? Yes, Jen Ryan. Okay, very good. It is a quantity of motion of an object. So, class, when, unbal when unbalanced forces act on an object, it undergoes motion. This motion, just like your eagerness to determine the word in spelling but earlier, makes an object difficult to stop. It can also intensify if an object's speed and mass is also increased. So, or simply, please read. Yes, please read Gino. Okay. So, consider these two pictures. Okay. Okay, please read the situation, Salween. Okay, thank you. So, who can answer the question? Yes, Jade. Okay, the truck. Very good. So, on what factor would the impact of collision depend if their velocities are the same? Yes, Gino. Okay, very good. It is the mass of the truck. So, your answer is correct. But let's investigate this further for you to learn more and enhance your knowledge about momentum. Let's have an activity. This activity is entitled Investigating Momentum. Okay, please read the objective. Okay, objective number one, please read Daileen. Okay, thank you. Objective number two, please read Shala. Okay, thank you. And for the last objective, please read Nika. Okay, thank you so much. 
So, class, do you have materials with you? Because I have already reminded you that you will prepare materials needed for this activity. So, you will do it by yourself. So, before we proceed, let's have this um, procedure. So, procedure number one, please read Tiffany. Okay, thank you so much. For procedure number two, please read Jefferson. Okay, thank you so much. Procedure number three, please read Joyce. Okay, thank you. And for the procedure or for procedure number four, please read Cherise Ann. Okay, thank you. For procedure number five, please read Kazen. Okay, thank you. And for the last, please read Generate. Okay, thank you so much. So that will be your procedure in conducting your activity. And then you have to answer guide questions as well as your conclusion. What you have learned for today and the importance of that lesson. And lastly, your enrichment. Explain the importance of vehicle safety devices for road accidents. So I will give you 15 minutes to do this activity and class, you may start now. Okay, class, finish. Okay. So, all right. Did the two toy cars immediately stop as they hit the block of wood? Okay, very good. So, no, because they travel some distances before it stops. Okay, so in physics, what do you call this term? Yes, Mary Ann. Okay, very good. It is called momentum. Okay, so therefore, what is now momentum class? Yes, Gino. Okay, very good. So it is a moment. It is the quantity of motion of that an object has. It is a measure of how difficult to stop a moving object. Okay. So in your activity, how will you compare now the stopping distances of the two toy cars from the same point of release? Yes, Julian. Okay, very good. So, heavy toy car has always greater stopping distances than the light toy car. An increase class in the point of release of the two toy cars cause to increase their own velocity. So, class, this is my question. How can you describe the stopping distances of the two toy cars as their point release increases? Yes, Jefferson. Okay, very good. Their stopping distances also increases. Stopping distances of two toy cars class tells about their momentum. So based on your activity, what are now the factors that affect momentum? Yes, Shala. Okay, very good. It is the mass and the velocity of an object. Okay, let's move now to the abstraction. Okay, class, so let's move now to the abstraction. I have here a picture, okay? So consider these two identical cars. Car A is traveling 80 km per, per hour, while car B is traveling at 30 km per hour. Okay, so my question is, which of the two cars would be more difficult to stop? On the other hand, which of the two cars has more momentum? Okay, so... We'll, who can answer? Yes, Mr. Okay, Mr. Ferrer. Daniel. Okay, very good. So car A being as faster as the other is more difficult to stop. Therefore, it has more momentum. Okay, very good. So momentum class is the measure of how difficult to stop a moving object. Two cars of the same mass but different velocities okay, will also have different momenta. Momentum depends on mass and velocity. So operationally class, momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity of an object. We can rewrite or I mean we can write this equation in the in equation form. Okay, so the equation, please read. Okay, please read. Okay, class, so we can write this in equation form. Please read 
January. Okay, very good. So, our equation is P is equal to M times V, where P is the momentum, M is the mass, while V is the velocity of the object. Okay, so moving objects class have velocities which can be measured directly or indirectly. So my question is, what do you think the momentum of stationary objects? Okay, very good. So the momentum of a stationary object is equal to zero. So why do you think so? Yes, um, Mr. Palacios? Gerson. Okay, very good. So, stationary object has a velocity of zero. And since the momentum is dependent of mass and velocity, any zero value in the two variables would result to a zero momentum. Did you get? Okay, get. Okay, very good. So, in short, for stationary objects where the velocity is zero, the momentum is also zero. Very good. So, in short, for stationary objects where the velocity is zero, the momentum is also zero. Okay, class, did you get the idea? Okay. So, now, let us practice computing for the momentum. Okay? So, I think you have this table already because I already give it to you before our discussion this morning. So, let's proceed to the next table. So, I have here a table. The object here are bird, basketball player, bullet, baseball, and the frog. So, all you have to do is to find what is missing. So, for the object bird, the missing here is mass. While for the basketball player, the missing here is momentum. And for the bullet, the missing here is velocity. While for the baseball, the missing is momentum. And for the frog, it is the mass. So all you have to do is to find what is missing on the table. Okay, so I think I will be giving you 5 minutes to finish this activity. And afterwards, we will be checking your answers. Time is up class, so you may now check your answers by yourself and I am presuming that you will practice honesty when you are checking your own paper, okay? So for the bird, what is the mass of the bird? Okay class, time is up. Okay, so let us now check your paper. Okay, let's start with the bird. So what is the mass of the bird in kilogram? Yes, Dailin. Okay, very good. It is 0 0.03 kilogram. Okay, for the basketball player, what is your answer, Gino? Okay, very good. It is 500 kilogram times meter per second. It's momentum. Okay, for the bullet, what is the velocity of the bullet? Yes, Shala. Okay, very good. It is 600 meter per second okay for the baseball what is the momentum of the baseball yes jefferson okay very good it is 4.2 kilogram times meter per second okay and lastly for the frog what is the mass of the frog yes shala okay very good it is 0 0.9 kilograms so, I think you are now ready for the um, computation of the momentum because almost of you got the perfect score. Okay. Okay, class. So, let's move to the application. Okay. So, changes in momentum class happen every time. A fast-moving car that suddenly stops might have damaging effects not only to the vehicle itself but also to the person who are riding it. There are various devices that have been installed in vehicles to ensure the safety of the passengers. Okay? So class, can you give examples of the different vehicle safety devices? Yes, um, Jen Ryan. Okay, very good. Seat belts. What else? 
Yes. Um, cherries. Okay, very good. Airbags. Some more. Yes. Um, Mary Ann. Okay, bumpers. Very good. So, can you explain, class, what is the importance of these vehicle safety devices? Yes, Solwyn. Okay, very good. So, through this vehicle um, vehicle safety devices, passenger can passenger can lessen their injuries from car crashes. Okay, indeed. So, any other explanation, class? Yes, Shala. Oh, right. Very good. So, in terms of inflatable air airbags class, it aims to increase the time of impact between the driver or passenger, okay, and the crashing vehicle in the event of an accident. Okay, so your answers are all correct. So, these vehicle safety devices can lessen class the impact of road accidents to the persons to the persons okay inside the vehicle or even to avoid death that's why to avoid severe injuries and death when you are driving a vehicle do not drive too fast okay did you get the idea any other questions class okay if none then let us summarize what we have learned today so class what is momentum okay jen ryan okay very good so momentum of an object is dependent on two factors okay what are these factors yes gino okay yes exactly how important class vehicle safety devices for road accidents yes shala okay very good definitely so i think you have learned so much today and you are now ready for our short quiz and you may prepare your paper as well as your ball pen or pencil to take this so for our short quiz please read the direction daniel okay thank you so much so it is a four item test and afterwards we'll be checking your answers it is equivalent to five points per item so you may now take your quiz okay it is good for five minutes only you may now start okay class time is up we will now check your answers so for question number one who can answer yes Daylene, please answer question number one okay very good so your answer got five points and this is the um answer so if whoever who got close answer to this answer you may check your own paper five with five with five points but if your answer if do you think your answer is far from this answer then you will score your your answer three points okay for question number two who can answer yes john ryan okay very good so it is a mass and velocity of an object so if your answer is just only mass and velocity it is considered okay or number three who can answer okay please answer nika okay very good so it is 10 kilogram times meter per second okay it is its momentum of the bowling ball or bowling ball okay for the number four yes who can answer Gerson okay very good so if you got the same answer as this answer key then you got five points but if your answer is far from this answer check your paper with three points okay class who got the perfect score all right so almost have you got the perfect score so thank you so much and congratulations okay so class for our assignment for today okay so it is a five item assignment and you need to write this on a sheet of paper to be submitted on our next meeting okay so um jen ryan please lead our close closing prayer
O Lord God, we thank you for granting us this beautiful day full of surprises as well as valuable learnings. We ask you, O Lord, to enlighten our hearts and mind in every decision that we make, that we still continue spreading love, compassion, and positivity among our fellow mankind, regardless of who we are, not hatred, resentment, and bitterness. Bless our teachers who always guide us and be on our side. Always make them the best example to us in terms of values, life perspective, and especially in spiritual aspect. We may, not, we may not be perfect as your son and daughter, but we do believe that there is still innate goodness within us that no matter what, love will always prevail and forgiveness will be the conclusion of the long essay of life. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much class. So goodbye class. Thank you so much for participating and see you on the next meeting.